Okay, welcome to part four of the um, Blender tutorial. Uh, this is a, a catch up for those who have missed the lunchtime tutorials on the very, very basics for Blender. Um, I've started here with uh, um, a web browser. Okay, this is the, um, <coughs> the Upper Emma College Blender Club sort of site. Not really, but this is the, the quick one you can go to. It's at the top www.upper.nz slash blender.htm. If you click down here, you can zip on through to um, a site that I've created for, um, sorry, from Google Sites. Did I click on that? Yes, I did. It's going really, really slowly. Right. I'm um, pretty soon. I can come to the site, which gives us a whole heap of um, files and tutorials and stuff that you can just catch up on really, really fast. Okay, catch up tutorials and associated files can be found here. We're going to go to this this page because it's going. Uh, this page holds um, a partially completed uh, model that we are going to use for today. So the robot to blend. You click on that. You can download it. Um, I've, everyone's. Um, um, software in the computer is slightly different, and you, the the, um, the operating system is different, so it will depend on what you're doing. Just go save or whatever it is, save it in a place where you know where you can find it. Okay, I'm saving it here to my desktop, and um, I'm going to use this robot for today for this tutorial. Whoops! Here we go. Now, when you open up your file, the robot two. Um, it'll look something like this. Okay, we're going to use this robot today. What's the aim for today's um, catch up? It is to clothe our robot, to paint it in some sort of material. This is a very, very basic one, a basic look at materials. We're going to look at the next lesson next week and actually colouring different parts of a robot, different colours. For example, colouring the head one colour and the claws another colour and so on and so on and so on. But today, the absolute basics in colouring. Um, texturing material. We're going to create some materials for a robot. You might have seen there that my screen was a little too small, so I went through and I clicked with the left click and dragged the side out until I could see this little tiny thing right here. If I hover over it, it will say materials. Click. There we go. Now, you may have a material already up there, but if you don't, which is quite possible, it will come up with the screen here, and all you do is you click New. Okay, once you've got a new material here, it'll ping on down and you've got a little preview of what the material looks like. This thing over here is, is sort of like a preview, but it's a very, very basic preview of what a material is going to look like. This one over here really only shows us the, um, the color and maybe a little bit of the, of, of the shine, and that's about it. Step one. This is pretty grainy. If you look here, it's, it's covered with little tiny squares. We're going to go through and make it nice and smooth. So click, shading, we're going to smooth the whole thing off. Done. Okay, step two. Over here on the material part, we're just going to move this around. We're just going to drag this so we can see. Um, that's the left click, drag down. We can see the material, the, the sphere, the little object here. And down below, there's a couple of boxes. Notice here, it says diffuse. This little colour thing here is the present colour of a material. That's that thing there. And of course this thing here as well. If I click it, my left clicker, a box springs up and I can drag it around. And as you can see, I can drag it around and change the colour of my robot to any colour I want. Ooh, nice. I'm going to make mine, ooh, that's good, blue. Bring it in a little bit there. That's good. Sort of. Okay, and down the bottom I can increase the intensity, like down here, I'm having less and less and less and less blue, okay, in fact this colour, this base colour altogether, and at the very bottom I've got no colour, and here I'm increasing it until I've got full of this blue colour right here. Right, these little buttons at the side, see how it says Lambert, they actually made me French, maybe it's Lambert or something, who cares, click it. And there's a whole heap of options. For example, Fresnel gives a completely different background painting of the colour. Okay. That one. Toon. Oranayer. 
and Lambert, which we saw before. I'm just going to leave it at the base one. That's all good. Different ones of these guys here will give you a different feeling of the background base color, especially as we start getting a little bit complicated. Right. Specular. Specular. Okay, let's go back. Diffuse. Thanks to name for the base painted color of the material. Specular is a fancy name for the amount of shine. See this little shine right there? This one's polished it up a little bit. If I increase the intensity of the shine, I actually increase the intensity of that reflection. I can drag it on down and look, hardly any. Drag it to zero and there's no gloss, no reflection at all. Right, I'll bring it halfway. The hardness in the bottom, I can have a really, really hard and I've, I've pulled the shine together, it's real sparkly, okay, or I can bring it right down to the other direction, and I've dragged it down, and now, that's how it was before, but I can bring it even closer down, and the shine gets bigger and bigger, in other words, not much hardness at all, and now it's spread right across the entire thing, and it's almost no blue left. If I bring the hardness right down to that, there is almost no blue at all, but we're going to just bring it up to about 50. By the way, how do I do that? I click in the middle, and I drag up and down. If I click the arrows at the side, it jumps up in smaller lots. Good stuff. Let's keep moving. See the little arrows here? I'm going to shrink. Bing! The things by clicking the little arrows, click, and it goes away. Shading, let's just ignore that for now. I'm going to get rid of that too. Here's the next one. Transparency. If I go through and tick this box transparency, nothing happens. It's because inside the transparency, click. I've got extra options. Now I'm going to ignore the Z transparency for now and go straight to Ray Trace because Ray Trace is so cool. Now if I've got a glass sphere, transparency means I can see through it. Okay? And that's exactly what we're doing right now. But you might have noticed I've ticked the transparency but nothing's happened. See this Fresnel thing here? Fresnel is, telling, is, a, is a really cool thing and it's I'm grabbing, clicking and dragging. What happens with real glass is the closer that you get to the edge of the glass, the less reflect sorry, the less transparent it is and the more reflective. In other words, light will sort of bounce off it, but it won't go through it very well. Now I'm gonna change through the monkey down here. See this little monkey? Bing! And what I'm doing right now is I'm previewing what it would be like if I had a, a, a more complex thing going on here. And I'm dragging the Fresnel down, and as you can see, um, I can change the edges. Okay, and how transparent they are. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to bring up a couple. I'm just clicking the thing to just bring it up a little. I'm going to bring it back to the ball. So now the edges of the object are not transparent, but the inside is. And that's good. See this IOR? That stands for Index of Refraction, I believe. Basically that means how good a magnifying is it? How much does it bend the light as it goes through? You'll see there, I just clicked the edge, bing, and it went upwards by a little bit. I click it again, it gets even more reflective. Click it again, and after a while it actually becomes quite absurd how refractive it is. Okay, if in doubt, Google that, or whatever. Put it into a search engine, because Diamond has the one of the highest refractive bending mess there is, but normal glass, that's a certain level. Right, now this filter one here. Filter is basically um, how much of the colour of the material is actually coming through. If I put the filter all the way up, then you know how it was blue before? The light coming through is completely blue, it's been filtered blue. If I have it halfway, it means that um, yeah, half of the, the light coming through has been filtered to blue. Okay, I've got to finish it really, really soon. Here is the final part. See this guy here? Doesn't look special. You've got to go up to render and then go render image. Now the reason I said this, look, here's a quick key thing here. I notice when I do this in the Mac, in the lamps, if I press F12, other things pop up. So I'm going render, render image, but I can also press F12 on my computer and ping. I get my robot completely covered in the material that I've been working with so far. I'm leaving it there. We're going to carry on next week with some more detailed stuff, putting different materials on different parts of him. Head, one colour, and so on and so on and so on. Until next week.